The EPA says one of the most popular weed killers on the market poses a risk to both birds and fish. And atrazine is widely used here in Nebraska. The corn board, though, they're raising concerns about the science. Here's more. Essentially, if it goes through into final rule, it could mean a de facto ban on atrazine. And as, as much as atrazine is used across the United States, an estimate of 60 million acres, that has a big effect. And, and as you look at replacement products and such, anywhere from $29 to $59 an additional acre that that will cost. And so as margins are tight now, we have a lot of concerns about the precedent this may set. Do you think that the science, uh, what do you think the science says on it? Well, you know, that's an interesting thing. Uh, EPA brought together their own scientific advisory panel to review all the science around atrazine. They discredited a lot of the science that EPA put forward to them, but yet EPA is using that science as a basis for this, uh, for their ecological risk assessment. And so that's concerning that they brought the scientific panel together, reviewed the science, they discredited the science, but yet it's being utilized in this draft rule. And I'm sure you've also got concerns that if this happens with atrazine, what's next? Exactly. This can continue on as, as many products were already in a pipeline for glyphosate to be reviewed. And if this type of methodology and assessment is used and applied towards future chemicals, that's concerning. Especially when you start talking about glyphosate, because you talk about something that every producer essentially uses. You know, there have been recent studies that have, that have said, hey, th this is a tool we need to have. You know, if something were to go that direction, that would be that would be very concerning. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you look at it similar to atrazine. Atrazine is a product that's not only used in its base formula, but it's on a lot of uh, chemistry mixes, similar to, to uh, glyphosate in the similar uh, opportunity of using it alone, but also in a lot of various tank mixes. And so you start broadening that out, the number of products that actually may contain atrazine and in the future glyphosate. You know, you're coming up to a point in the year where we're, we're going to have Husker Harvest Days and some of those kinds of things. Does the Corn Board intend to use some of those opportunities and those avenues uh, to, to start reaching out to, to growers and talking with them about uh, some of the things maybe that they can they need to maybe speak up on? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, it's generally talking about the regulations and the overreach of EPA on, on this issue specifically. So we encourage growers to stop in our booth at Husker Harvest Days. They should be getting a letter from us talking about this issue alone asking them to either go to our website, nebraskacorn.org, the Nebraska Corn Growers website, necga.org, and make sure that their comments are heard on this issue. Weather's up next and later, we're county fair cruising at the Valley County Fair. Stay with us.